DFWFCA's Faith in Sports. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome to the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. Sonny will be joined by fellow Ranger greats Pudge Rodriguez, Tom Grieve, and Mark McLemore for a great luncheon and day of golf. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. Well, Major League Baseball's Midsummer Classic is in the books, and now we look forward to the playoff races and then, of course, the postseason. With baseball the main focus of the American sports world, we will feature two baseball greats on the show this week. First of all, we will hear from former Yankee great Bobby Richardson. Bobby was a close friend and teammate of the great Mickey Mantle. He'll tell us the story of how Mickey came to accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Then we will hear from current Dodger star Adrian Gonzalez. He will tell us what he thinks it means to be a Christian. Christian influence to me is a person that's in Christ, uh, which means the word Christian is being in Christ. Psalm 27, 1 is the Lord is uh, my strength and my uh, salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I be afraid of? Uh, you know, for me, it's, uh, it's something that just gives me calm to know that uh, he's in control and there's nothing I should ever fear or be afraid of. I look at it quite a bit of times. There's a lot of times when, uh, you know, the emotion of the game and everything wants, wants to get a hold of you. And so I look at that and I say, hey, enjoy the moment, have fun, and uh, just, uh, you know, do the best you can. More from Dodger star Adrian Gonzalez in just a few minutes. A Dallas Cowboys great will deliver our DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment this week. Cowboy Ring of Honor member Cliff Harris. I do love working with the FCA. I believe in the FCA. I know what it does. I've seen uh, I, actually a young man at, at the FCA in Hot Springs. His coach took him under his wing. He was out on the street and took him under his wing and his parents abandoned him. More from Cowboy great Cliff Harris in the classic moment later this half hour. Also joining us on the show today is the leader of the TCU FCA, Chauncey Franks. Really just being present, uh, uh, hanging around at workouts, um, being there to invest in their lives. Uh, we had an opportunity to uh, baptize a young man who's on the basketball team last week. He came over and uh, just shared some things in his heart, and we were able to open up the scriptures and uh, look at what it means to give our life to Christ and what is salvation. And, and, uh, and God's spirit moved, and he wanted to give his life to Christ and also to uh, baptize. So we went in my backyard and got in the pool and, and was able to baptize this young man. So pretty neat just seeing how God is working. More from the leader of the TCU FCA, John C. Franks, in just a few minutes. Hey, if you are or if you would like to be an FCA huddle coach or a sponsor, join us Sunday, August 14th for a free FCA North Texas huddle coach sponsor inspo training event former dallas cowboy chad hennings will be speaking along with carolyn allen the wife of highland park coach randy allen this great encouraging and training session is for men and women coaches and spouses info and registration can be found at dfwfca.org Our first special guest on the show today is New York Yankee great Bobby Richardson. Bobby is the only World Series MVP ever to be selected from the losing team. He's a strong Christian and was great friends with Mickey Mantle. He tells us the story of how Mickey came to know Jesus Christ personally. Mickey and and I got to know each other when I was that 17-year-old working out with the Yankees put on a uniform and was told to go out and take some batting practice around the batting cage. And I stood around the cage, but I wasn't about to step in front of those Yankees. And Mickey Mantle put his arm around me and said, come on, kids, step in here and take some swings. And it indeed started a friendship that lasted a lifetime. A dozen years as teammates in New York, we had a little place together in Boone, North Carolina at Grandfather Mountain. And on many occasions, he came down to my home here in Sumter, gave a batting exhibition, came to the university when I was coaching there, up at Grandfather Mountain. And on all of those occasions, he and I talked about priorities in life and the things that really count. He had some areas of his life he was unwilling to give up. But he did give his heart to Christ. Pete Maravich had a wonderful, humble testimony, lifestyle very much like Mickey's. 
And uh, that was what impacted Mickey's life. And I had the humbling experience of having his service on national television. Mm -hmm. And he really had a a unique relationship with the Lord. I just wish he could have lived longer Mm -hmm. to have shared. But it is a wonderful track called His Final Inning that has gone out in the millions and has been used to to tell others about this relationship he had at the end of his life. We uh, uh, decided to bring Billy Zioli in and speak to the Yankee Ball Club. And Elston Howard and Tony Kubek ran around and told the guys we had a room set aside. We'd have coffee and sweet rolls and ask him to come out. And I remember in particular that Mickey was asked to come. And his response at that time was, man, you know, I'll be out late the night before. I'm just not sure that I'll make it. Call me in the morning. Well, we did call. And when we called, he kiddingly said, I can't make it. I've been out late. But he showed up. And that's the kind of thing that happened in his life. Hmm. He was willing to, to give of himself to come out and hear. And even those occasions when he came down to coach at the university when I was coaching, when he came down to give a batting instruction there, on all of those occasions, we put somebody with him that shared the good news of Christ. I was just elated when he did give his heart to Christ. Can I just say a word? This organization, FCA, has meant so much because it is challenging young people with the adventure of following Christ in the fellowship of the church. And what an impact in the schools and around our nation internationally now. Thank you very much for having this program. What an amazing honor. New York Yankee great Bobby Richardson with a story of how Mickey Mantle came to know Jesus. Thank you, Bobby. Now, we would love to connect with you. It is very easy to do. Our website is dfwfca.org. You can find us on Facebook at DFWFCA, and you can find us on Twitter at FCA DFW. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, sponsored by the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club. Did you ever imagine you'd be invited to a dinner with Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Dan Reeves, and Bob Brunig? With God, anything is possible, right? The DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes invites you to join them for their 50th anniversary celebration dinner at the Irving Convention Center. Early bird tickets are on sale now and tickets go fast, so go to dfwfca.org to make sure you've got a seat. It'll be a night of fantastic cowboy stories, trips to the Super Bowl, playing for Tom Landry, serving Christ, and the joy of touching lives with the FCA. Knock something big off your bucket list by having dinner with Staubach, Lilly, Reeves, and Brunig. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. There is a common place for student athletes and coaches to go to strengthen their faith in Christ. And my FCA huddle. There's a place to be encouraged to face the trials and temptations of life. At my FCA huddle. There is a place to receive confidence to share the light of Christ. At my FCA huddle. There is a place for you to get information on how you can be involved as a coach or an athlete in a Dallas-Fort Worth Fellowship of Christian Athlete huddle. Go to dfwfca.org. Situated on 330 acres of beautiful natural landscape with facilities to accommodate groups up to 1,000, Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center is the ideal place to schedule your next event. Whatever your group's goals are, Lakeview aims to meet your needs, providing year-round service facilities for retreats, conferences, camps, corporate meetings, outdoor education outings, school events, and family gatherings. Our friendly staff is committed to making your stay a great experience. Come to Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center and enjoy state-of-the-art facilities, activities that engage and rejuvenate, comfortable lodging, and great food in a setting that inspires the awe of the greatness of God. To learn more about this scenic location for your next event, visit us online today. For more information, visit lakeviewcamp.net. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Chris Schneider, welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, sponsored by the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic. It's going to be at the Trophy Club Country Club. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. 
We will hear from L.A. Dodger great Adrian Gonzalez momentarily. Dallas Cowboy Ring of Honor member Cliff Harris will deliver this week's DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment. We will also hear from DFWFCA's leader at TCU, Chauncey Franks, telling us about what's happening in his ministry in Horn Frog Country. Hey, is God calling you to serve alongside a middle school or a high school coach in your area? DFWFCA is excited to announce our Character Coaching Initiative. Training for those interested is August 22nd. You need to pray about this. Go to dfwfca.org for all the information. Now, we have two great major leaguers on the show today. We heard from Yankee great Bobby Richardson a few minutes ago. Now, we're joined by L.A. Dodger All-Star slugger Adrian Gonzalez, who is, of course, a huge star now. But that didn't come without some trials and tribulations. Agon was the number one overall pick in the 2000 MLB draft, but then he went through some big struggles before finding his stride. I got sent down. Came out of nowhere. Uh, they made a trade at the July trade deadline, which it was tough for me. My, my, my faith in the Lord and just really said uh, if this is your plan for me I'm okay with it I'm just gonna I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna keep playing hard I'm not gonna put my head down I'm not gonna feel bad for myself I'm just gonna play hard and uh, 10 days later I was back in the big leagues you know going to a new team um, there's always that that want or that um, time when you want to fit in and uh, sometimes you know not everybody's gonna have the same uh, background the same faith and belief as, as yourself so sometimes you know you have that time that uh, you want to step out, outside of that just, just, just to satisfy everybody else but um, my foundation is in Jesus and uh, you know I'm not going to stay away from that. For me I think a leader in a major league baseball team is a guy that uh, can relate to everybody, um, people respect, you let them know that they can talk to you of personal things baseball things, swing, defense, whatever. I'll, I'll sit down with guys and talk to them on the side uh, when nobody's watching. It's definitely a historic um, place to play. It's unbelievable. The city's unbelievable. The fans are, are incredible and it's just a great atmosphere. Um, there's a lot of great times. You see players, the great players of all time, always in and out of the clubhouse and uh, you know it's a very special place to play. Christian influence to me is a person that's in Christ, uh, which means the word Christian is being in Christ, and uh, has influenced me. You know, I, I, I can go down, up and down the list uh, from Doug Sutherland with, uh, with San Diego Padres uh, to Brian Hummel that's uh, in Arizona uh, to Vlad Mason who's a chaplain for the Red Sox. Psalm 27 one is the Lord is uh, my strength and my uh, salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I be afraid of? Uh, you know, for me, it's, uh, it's something that just gives me calm to know that uh, he's in control and there's nothing I should ever fear or be afraid of. I look at it quite a bit of times. There's a lot of times when, uh, you know, the emotion of the game and everything wants, wants to get a hold of you. And so I look at that and I say, hey, enjoy the moment, have fun, and uh, just, uh, you know, do the best you can. Faith comes into play when it comes to expectations because um, I'll, I know all I can do is, 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 be, is be a man of God, be a follower of Christ. and. Uh, from there on out, I, all I can do is, is be the best player I can be. Um, I can't try to satisfy anybody here on earth. Uh, you know, we're not here to satisfy earth, earthly, horizontal um, people. Uh, you know, we're, we're on earth to satisfy Jesus. For me, God has always shown me to just trust in Him. You know, just uh, no matter what, doing well, doing bad, statistics, box scores, all that stuff, uh, it matters. But, it, but, but in the big picture, it doesn't. We're away from the, from the game after retirement more time than we are playing the game. So you look at the big picture of life, um, you know, there's going to be more times when it's going to be you and Jesus than in the field. L.A. Dodger All-Star first baseman Adrian Gonzalez. Thank you, sir, for your work for Jesus. Coming up next, we will hear from the leader of the FCA ministry at TCU, Chauncey Franks, and we will hear from Dallas Cowboy great Cliff Harris with our 50th anniversary classic moment. 
Now, you can look great and help support DFWFCA at the same time. Check out our 50th anniversary gear, some incredible gifts, some incredible clothing, hats, you know, all that kind of stuff. Go to dfwfca.org, look for the FCA store. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sundberg Golf Classic. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. I tell students if they can sweat, they can be a part of FCA, and everybody can sweat, so all are welcome. FCA has taught me how to lead. It's taught me how to be a leader. It's taught me how to present myself and how to live a life full of character both on and off the field. I can't think of any other scenario where you can see people from such diverse backgrounds able to connect in a way that we can connect at FCA. being around other kids who also love God the same because you get to see wow they love God too and they've been through what I've been through so wow I can relate to that FCA teaches you to put Christ and others before yourself just to know that yeah you can be an athlete and that can be what you do but it's not your identity as you can see it just greatly impacted me personally and spiritually and um, will always be part of my story In 1966, Coach Tom Landry had the inspiration to start the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. This year, Dallas-Fort Worth FCA is celebrating God's amazing impact on coaches and athletes during our 50th anniversary. Over 16,000 students and athletes are involved with FCA in North Texas. Nearly 500 coaches and teachers volunteer their time to influence student athletes. Visit dfwfca.org for more information, including how you can pick up some one-of-a-kind 50th anniversary products like caps, shirts, coffee mugs, and more. Fields of faith. It's time for this generation to lead. Students are ready to challenge each other. The movement of God is happening. And it's happening in communities like yours. One day. One message. One stand. We are sharing our faith. And we are reading God's word. We are sharing what God has done in our lives. We are filling stadiums by the hundreds. And by the thousands. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. are Fields of faith. Every year. Across the country, fields of faith. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the JSGC, the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. Go to dfwfca.org for all the details. One of Tom Landry's boys is going to bring us the DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment this week, the great Cliff Harris momentarily. Now, we'd be honored to have you partner with us at DFWFCA as we continue to touch thousands and thousands of lives for Christ, just as Tom Landry envisioned when he started the DFWFCA 50 years ago. To see how you can volunteer or how you can donate, go to dfwfca.org. Joining us here on Faith in Sports Now is the man who heads up the vibrant FCA ministry at TCU, Chauncey Franks. Chauncey, what's up in your ministry these days? Uh, right now it's summer, so we just uh, we got camps. Uh, we are student athletes are, are working out. We'll get back and we'll kick off our summer series uh, Bible story and uh, studies, and we'll probably do that over my house just to, one, just have the kids over and be able to uh, just closely invest in them. But really just being present, uh, uh, hanging around at workouts, um, being there to invest in their life. Uh, we had an opportunity to uh, baptize a young man who's on the basketball team last week. He came over and uh, just shared some things in his heart, and we were able to open up the scriptures and uh, look at what it means to give our life to Christ and what is salvation. And, and, uh, and God's spirit moved, and he wanted to give his life to Christ and also to uh, baptize. So we went in my backyard and got in the pool and, and was able to baptize this young man. So pretty neat just seeing how God is working. Talked to a couple of TCU coaches in the last couple of weeks football coach the baseball coach they both talk about the uh, tcu fca and what a difference it's having on people that's got to feel good to hear from the coaches of your university and what a great job your fca is doing oh it's definitely uh, humbling just to one just to have their support i mean fca could not uh, function 
uh, on a collegiate campus without the supports of the coach. And I, I'm thankful to see that they see the value that FCA brings to their team and to the program. Uh, you know, because I firmly believe that when you uh, can help a young man and woman win off in their life, uh, in their hearts, uh, in their mind, uh, spiritually, everything else will be second nature. You are helping them to be uh, successful in whatever their particular uh, uh, sport is. Okay, so how do you run uh, uh, an FCA organization in a university? I mean, because these kids are busy. I mean, they're going to school. They're learning a lot of stuff. So, you know, you've got a challenge to entertain them, really, in a way, as well as to, to teach them about Christ. How do you go about doing that? Well, I think uh, when you're doing collegiate ministry, it's, 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 it's a great um, reward, but it's also a great challenge because you're dealing with their schedules, you're dealing with uh, their travel schedules, and then also on top of their academic schedules. And so, and then you're trying to, you know, piece FCA into that piece. And so what we try to do is uh, create an environment where student athletes can grow, teaching them how to be self-feeders. So teaching them how to do a devotional on their own, teaching them how to, to we've given out over 500 uh, FCA Bible since I've been there, but be, being able to teach them when they're on the road to open up scriptures and spend 10 to 15 minutes in God's Word. But we run it just like almost like a small church. We we have our services our Monday nights at 8 o'clock where it's a gathering of all student athletes, and then throughout the week uh, we'll have just different uh, small groups or discipleship groups where we're meeting with student athletes. Uh, we also do a lot of character and leadership development with our student athletes. Uh, one, uh, I think we are able to bring uh, what I call inside out coaching where we are able to coach the hearts of the student athletes and so we just look for opportunities to, to be present to hang out at, um, at workouts to be be there when they're working out to be there in a the locker room and I think probably our greatest value is, is just being present so uh, in a locker room where a young man says hey can I talk and often at those times it's where God has ordained an opportunity for a young man that wants to share his heart we've been fortunate enough to hire um, a young lady Natalie Wall uh, who officially started uh, this Monday so she will be uh, the female version of me at T TCU, and so she will head up our female ministry, which we have a phenomenal female ministry at TCU, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, with her presence and having somebody there full time uh, what that's going to look like investing into the lives of the coaches and student athletes at TCU. The leader of FCA at TCU, Chauncey Franks, thank you, sir. It's time for the DFW FCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment, brought to us by one of Tom Landry's boys, Ring of Honor member Cliff Harris. Cliff is a big supporter of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He was first introduced to FCA by his legendary coach, and it's been a part of his life ever since. Jim Myers, out of the blue, called me and said, Hey, Cliff, I've got a golf tournament. Coach Landry, uh, he's the host of the tournament, and he said it's in Arkansas. And it's in Arkansas, and I think you're from Arkansas, aren't you? And I said, yes, sir. He said, I said, where is that? Where is the the tournament? Where is he having it? And he said, well, it's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I said, what? That's my hometown. <laughs> and it was an FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes tournament. So I said, yes, I'll play in it. Play in it. So I went in and played there and saw people that I knew and and friends and. Uh, it was a great tournament held at Diamante and the course up there in Arkansas, Hot Springs. And then uh, two years later, we lost Coach Landry. And they asked me if I wanted to host the tournament. And I said, heck yeah. And so every year in Hot Springs, Arkansas, the Cliff Harris FCA golf tournament is going to be held. And uh, I do love working with the FCA. I believe in the FCA. I know what it does. I've seen uh, I, actually a young man at, at the FCA in Hot Springs. His coach took him under his wing. He was out on the street and took him under his wing, and his parents abandoned him and ended up going to, of all places, Henderson, uh, going to get a football scholarship and uh, at Henderson Methodist and, and doing real well. And he turned his life around and I took the coaches and and the young man and the coach and his family down to a cowboy game down here uh, that he got to see and it is just one of many stories that they, we tell every year um, up up in Hot Springs about the effects and the positive work of those guys or work of the FCA and I'm really grateful to be a part of it, a small part, just using my name, and they do all the work. I'm happy to be involved in 
supportive anytime. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. You're welcome. God bless you, sir. God bless you, too. Thank you. Dallas Cowboys great Cliff Harris with this week's DFWFCA Classic Moment. Thank you, sir. Now, how would you like to move it with your friends and family? Join us at the Chick-fil-A Connect Race Series. Proceeds from the race will benefit the mission of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. This will be September 10th at 8 a.m. at the Keller Town Center. Go to dfwfca.org for all the information and registration. Coming up next, we'll tell you who the special guest is going to be joining us here on the show next week. We'll also tell you who will provide the classic moment. This is DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, brought to you by the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. How about a day of fun on the golf course with Texas Rangers legends Jim Sunberg, Pudge Rodriguez, Tom Grieve, and Mark McLemore. You're invited to join us for the annual Jim Sunberg Golf Classic at the Trophy Club Country Club October 3rd. Sonny will lead the luncheon program, interviewing the panel of Ranger greats while you enjoy a great lunch, and then it's out to the golf course. There will be great raffle prizes and live auction items, so come help us touch lives for Christ and have a great time, too. Go to dfwfca.org for details on how you can join us for the Jim Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. Did you know that after a trip to an FCA sports camp in Estes Park, Colorado in 1962, Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry felt inspired to use his position as a coach to influence young student athletes. So in 1966, 50 years ago, Coach Landry helped launch the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. Hi, I'm Rick Bowles, North Texas Director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and I'd like to ask you to tell us your FCA story. What impact did FCA have or is currently having on your life? Visit dfwfca.org for more information. Every morning, around the globe, thousands of FCA staff and volunteers begin a journey like no other. We are a foot-in-the-door ministry, and we help the church get into places where it can't really go. We're constantly trying to stay out front and be on the cutting edge. To me, I don't know of any ministry that has a greater impact on our youth today than FCA. I think it's more important now than it has ever been. Yeah, it's relevant. Get them when they're in elementary school, middle school, all the way up through the professional and adult level, and so few ministries are able to do that. Never lost sight of their mission. Never lost sight of the need to draw people to Christ. The one vehicle that we have in schools is mention the Word of God. If you look at what you see on TV, all the things, it looks like we're losing. I'm here to say we're not. He has had his hand of protection on this ministry. It is for this time. I'm Chris Schneider. Thank you for joining us for DFWFCA's Faith in Sports Radio Show, brought to you by the Jim Sunberg Golf Classic. Be sure to join us for the DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Celebration Dinner. Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Dan Reeves, and Bob Brunick will all be there to share their cowboy stories. Get your early bird tickets now. Go to dfwfca.org. Our thanks to our special guests today, Bobby Richardson, Adrian Gonzalez, and Cowboys great Cliff Harris. I'm Chris Schneider, the sports and spirit speaker. You can find me at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Godly messages with stories from the greatest coaches and athletes of all time. Find me, the sports and spirit speaker, at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Our feature interview on next week's show will be with the one and only Lou Holtz. Former Major League star Brian Roberts will bring us the classic moment. Guests scheduled to join us in future weeks include Roger Staubach, Dan Reeves, Mike Singletary, Jim Sundberg, and many others. FCA's Faith in Sports is an outreach of DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, hosted and produced by me, Chris Schneider. Executive producer is Rick Bowles. For information on DFWFCA, contact Rick at rbowles, that's B-O-W-L-E-S, rbowles, at fca.org. And remember this week to do all that you do unto the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. From the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Faith in Sports.